Wow, what an interesting video. So this is this is what happens. See our hands talking. Yeah, this this is Dr. Mark Vaughn. Oh, we need sock puppets. Coord, coordinate the movement with the. <laughs> this is Dr. K. Okay. So we'll just well we'll just do this. Hey, it came I don't up. need the microphone anymore. Let me bring it up here. So the this reason is this is so uh, disorganized is because our. <laughs> They can't even see me. Our, our equipment that we if use I, if we for... Scoot back. I know, but now we can't read it. Our equipment... Maybe oh, I can read it, on there. read it here. Our equipment that we would normally use for uh, making these videos is malfunctioning. Oh. Uh, so we will be trying to get in contact with Sling Studio and ask them why the way it always works before doesn't work today with a single stream key. Not just but that. It that's just not me. your... That's not uh, something to bother you about because you're concerned about medical yeah. matters. Right. It, it, it's kind of just been a comedy of disasters today anyways, uh, um, as of mid-afternoon. There has been a lot that just has not worked today. Oh, yes. man. Crazy. Absolutely. And, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, medical decisions can be difficult. And that, that actually kind of ties in with our technical difficulties with all of the video stuff today. Uh, having to make decisions without having complete information. That, that's the whole point of the title of today's video is we, we want to discuss situations where doctors have to make decisions with incomplete data. Right. And, and yet you still have to make the decision. And, and uh, you're going to be responsible for, for what you know. Sometimes you'll be responsible for what you didn't know. Right. Even though you have no way of knowing it because you have to make a decision. Right. So, so if you can talk about that, uh, I might try to get us another stream, and our viewers can jump ship with, if they want to do that. If you guys want us to switch this to the other way, they'll have much better audio. I'll work on it while Dr. Gwen regales you with all of his wonderful medical knowledge. All my wonderful medical knowledge. But if, if you knowledge. say no, we can hear you fine. Don't bother. We'll just keep doing what we are. So you, you let me know what they say. Uh, just kind of saying hi. They're just yeah. saying hi. Okay. Yeah. Just coming in all right now. Well, it's because there's so a... They come up kind of a delay, so I don't there get is a them. Delay. They come up on that one a lot before me, so I'm catching them. Yeah, there is a little bit Seems of Seems okay to me, says Robert Antonio. Well, we'll so just do this. Thank yeah. you, Robert Antonio. So if you like it, hey, it's nice to have a familiar, uh, familiar name there. And Russ Bernard. Oh, Russ Bernard. Man, he's TV. really been getting in on the afternoon yeah. uh, live streams like this. Usually he's more of an evening guy when we... He do. wanted us to talk about the president t taking hydroxychloroquine. I have no knowledge of that, but I, I do you know, know that, that hydroxychloroquine yeah. and, has been And, and suggestions like that we will put into a future show uh, because we have a topic for today already. Yeah. But yes, yeah. yes, evening shows, we'll, we'll do stuff like that, which we may do one this week and talk about that exact topic. Excellent. But yeah, let's go back to difficult medical decision making. And let's um, maybe take the, the broad approach and first say how we came up with this, why we were even talking about this. Um, and a lot of it is just because we, you, as the public, um, as, as just general people, are seeing this on display in a grand matter um, nationally here, here in the United States and, and even beyond that, you know, internationally. But especially here, our uh, medical experts through the CDC and um, all the other advisors to the, the president and, and the government are making their best decisions based on limited data or the best data that we have, which is incomplete. Um, That's what it is. It's incomplete. Yeah. So the whole idea about how to, um, I guess, stop the... Oh, you're, okay. I'm finding uh, stuff. Okay. Realizing I have uh, it right with me as we speak. The whole idea to, you know, make the decision to um, self-isolate... Oh, we're set even closer. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're doing it. Look at that. Okay. Uh, it was made on incomplete data, the, our best projection. So all public health is, um, beta, um, decisions are based on projections. Um, the whole idea to flatten the curve as, as we, ah! we're very whoa, well acquainted with. We're going to just make everybody vomit at home from yeah, sorry. Sorry motion sickness. Um, they, they're based on uh, data that we know based on a replication rate of the um, virus uh, and... Um, some other data that we we got from China, uh, and as as we have gone, that those numbers have changed, and those changes those numbers are even those changers. Those numbers are different, even within different populations. So in a more populated area, that replication number is going to be much higher, or in a less dense area, it's going to be lower. So so 
of making these decisions um, were based on, oh, wow, we're re- you get to see the back of us setting everything up here and everything. Yeah. Well, that's what the show is all about. It's about, it's about how the <laughs> sausage is you're, made. You're seeing behind With, the... Whether it be oh, video... I need to move up. That's not going to work. Oh, that's okay. We, we can tilt the camera up enough <laughs> that we can see ourselves. This is awesome. We're still... Well, we've got masks on. We're trying to be six feet away. Try it. We've been trying. As best we can. You All can right. see part no, of we, my head. We, oh, they, hey, there you go. That's not too bad. <laughs> the other way. The other, the other way, Dr. Is Mark. the volume better? The okay. Yeah. Hopefully that volume's good, Or guys. the quality of the sound. Um, let me bring this up, see how we're doing here. So, so um, that's why we wanted to, to uh, speak on that, because we have to make decisions every day um, based on our best knowledge of the situation of the patient, of um, medicine in general. And yeah. these decisions sometimes are, are very significant. So some examples. Yeah. Just two or three weeks, two, two or three weeks ago, patient, elderly woman, just got out of the hospital with um, comminuted closed hip fracture, pelvic mm. fracture. Well, she, she is very immobile. She can work, get up with a, and she's supposed to get up with a, a walker, but yet she's very unstable on the walker. Obviously, she just broke her pelvis because of being unstable. So this is somebody who's had a stroke before and is on anticoagulant medicines for that mm-hmm. and is at high risk of having a blood clot because of the immobility, but also because of high risk of falling on her head or hitting her head in a fall high risk for a bleed of something like, very high risk because she she fell when she got to break it in the first place, going to the hospital. So the decision was made to not put her on anticoagulation when she went home. Well, she started complaining of her asthma. She always has asthma, always oh. needs her inhalers. Started complaining of having some trouble with her asthma, wants, wants to have that addressed, doesn't want to come into the office because obviously mobility issues are a big deal. I said, she, I said all these things, She's at high risk for blood clots. And a, a pulmonary embolism is something that we cannot rule out with the information we have. She needs to go to the emergency department. Well, they did, but there was great potential, great potential. For, you know, if it was another family, it could have very well gone like this. No, she just needs her inhaler. She has asthma. You're being ridiculous to make us have to go through all of this. The reason I say this is because we've heard it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We hear this a lot. Yep. We have to make decisions with incomplete data, and we're always responsible for the worst thing that happened. Well, as it turned out, she had multiple, multiple pulmonary embolisms. Oh, man. Totally a relief that we got her in there. I was almost going to say a relief that she had them, but that doesn't make sense. No. No. A relief <laughs> that we got, that we made the right decision and got her there right. since that's what was there. Yeah. Another example, last week, a patient came in with some vague symptoms. Um, could, chest pain was part of it. Could have been a heart attack. A lot of other things could have been going on. Could have been GI, could have been reflex disease, lots of stuff other than a heart attack. But we told the patient, really, to get the testing you need, you have to go to the emergency department now. And they were having a heart attack. Oh, my. So these kind of decisions happen all the time. And at the same time, a lot of the decisions are to do that. And then it turns out they weren't having a heart attack. They weren't having pulmonary embolism. It was just asthma. We, o- we overreacted. We, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Overreacted. Well, in our line of work, you know, I, I don't know that yeah. Maybe everybody better to, gets yeah. how much responsibility there is when it goes bad. Right. Yeah. And so we see this in the in the news and in politics. Lots of people saying, oh, just go ahead and relax to, you know, going back to business as usual. Don't bother with the mask. Don't do any of the social distancing. We'll be fine. Well, those people aren't the ones who are responsible for knowing better right. and who everybody's going to turn around on when... Yeah things go really bad like right. New York City. <laughs> right. Because we should know better. And because we should know better, we're saying yes. As we're relaxing our, our social yeah. distancing, we are keeping masks on. We are, well, we're not social distancing well, I've, now. I've, but. I've had that conversation actually with random people where they say, why are you still wearing a mask? I say, well, I'm wearing a mask for you and because I'm a physician and I, I, I hear these stories from New yeah. York and other places. And let's just think about it. Okay, if I'm wrong, I look like a fool for wearing a mask. Okay, I'm prepared to take that. If you're wrong and you're not wearing a mask, 
you're going to look like a fool and people are going to die. So what's the worst one here? Yeah. Okay, that's being a little uh, over the top, but I'm just saying. So anyway, <laughs> both of us have had the experience of being the only ones in a public place wearing a mask. Yep. Or, or the only family uh, that's masked. Yeah, it's usually And, <laughs> and we're, we're going to continue to do it here for a while because that's uh. the thing to do because we could be pre-symptomatic and spreading it. Right. Yeah, and we, we know that, that people can spread it before they show symptoms because we know that. We are, yeah. And we are the prime case of somebody who would do that because we come in contact with people. Yeah, all the time. actually it's even more so on us to wear the masks in yeah. public. Than, right. You know, when we see that other people aren't and we're the only ones wearing it, that's, that's actually right that we're the ones wearing it because we're the ones that the are more likely to bring it in because of our yeah. contact at work. And yep. Although... So, uh, as of yet, still zero cases yeah, of Auburn we, Medical Group. Yeah, we've been group. fortunate. All the tests we've done, yeah. still zero. Yeah. So um, this whole thing about medical decisions making hard, um, they, they talk about this idea of the art of medicine. Medicine is obviously a science, and there is a lot to know about physiology. What are you doing? I can't read it from all the way back there. Oh. <laughs> uh, the, so, yeah, we know physiology. We know how medications work. Um, we know... Uh, you know, a lot, we, we learn a lot of stuff <laughs> in pathophysiology, when things start going wrong, how they can go wrong, um, pathology, you know, there's all these, this science behind what we're doing and that is a base knowledge. But then add on top of that, we're working with people and people don't always follow rules. Um, so, so there is this, what they call the art of medicine. And even with that, a person can come to a, a doctor with similar symptoms and get a different diagnosis. And you know, a lot of that is the trust of your doctor and making sure that you explain everything that your doctor is asking the right questions. It takes a experience, it takes knowledge. Um, there's a lot to it that goes into it. Um, so it, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, what kind of comments are there? Oh, I don't know. I've been talking about getting mad at people did, without did, masks. Did we check to see if they actually could hear us after we plugged the mics in? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> or have we just been going on and on and on? <laughs> and they're hoping that they'll be able to hear us. Like, wait, well, we haven't had any comments that we, they haven't heard us. Okay, oh, yeah. let me go back it to the It would be all over check. the comments. That if, was just if, the top chat. couldn't hear us. I know that because that's happened before. Yeah. Yeah, nothing beyond that. Okay. So, so they can hear us. Um, I think those were before when people said sounds fine. So okay. hopefully it still sounds okay. fine. Um, and, and Robert Antonio says, a fine perspective. I appreciate oh, that. Thank Robert you. Robert Antonio. Thank you for your input. So, th yeah, the reason this came up was because of all that's going on public health. And I, I, I was trying to make it a, about public health. And Dr. Wayne said, no, we're not, we're not epidemiologists. Let's not make right. it public health. And he, he's right. But then, I'm sorry, it turned out to be <laughs> It does. Yeah. So it's okay. Um, you know, all of those Facebook You forgive me. All those Facebook <laughs> experts can be mad at, you know, all the CDC experts. Sure, fine. Mm -hmm. But they are working with the best data they have. And um, if they're wrong, you know, um, their their primary concern is health. Now, yeah. you know, they're, they're just advising the president on that end of things. They're not really advising on the whole economy. That's a whole issue in itself. Which we could add on um, what we learned today about states that have opened up so far. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's actually good information. So uh, New York Times, have an article, it may have been today or, or over the weekend, that actually showed this graph uh, of all the states that have opened up. And at this point, none of them are having huge spikes of badness. And in fact, some of them are actually going down a little since opening up. And that's great that news. That is a good thing. Uh, I believe a lot of them are still, people are still exercising a degree of social distancing. And right. that's probably a big part of it. And time. Time is going to be the tell, too. It's only been probably, who opened up first? That's like true. Some, I think yeah. Florida, Georgia, those touch, places. I'm going to touch my mask here, even though oh. you're not supposed to. It is falling down my nose. Don't touch me. Stay away. Wash yeah. your hands. Sorry. You um, guys, I did that. <laughs> so uh, those are the places that opened up, and that was late April, so it's really only been a couple weeks. Well, three weeks almost. Is this, is this so, the 18th? We, it is the 18th. So we've had a good... We're just at the place we're where we're going to start seeing probably almost over three weeks. If so, they're going to. Yeah. Yeah. And the answer to that we'll is see. scale back the opening. Yeah, that would be the, the answer. Go, there. go back to a little bit more of the social distancing. Maybe uh, close down things that have lots of people in right. places. Less they, people they seem to be doing all at right. restaurants or whatever. And I think they, like some of those places, they did full openings. Like they got 
barbershops going. They've yeah, got, so far we're not seeing the spikes. That we which were is, which is reassuring. Yeah, that so, is, is a good thing. And I think I'm glad I was wrong in warning about, yeah, it's going to go up. All right. It still could, though. So, yeah, yeah. Cautiously so optimistic. That's yes. right. That's what I, well, I think a lot of those um, businesses like barbershops and those, they, they have a, a self-regulation and, and they know that, you know, we've got to keep people safe. So they, a lot of them probably have put in some very strict you got a haircut. protocols. Hey, I did get a haircut. I didn't go to a barbershop. They're not open in California. Oh, you didn't go to a barbershop. <laughs> They're not open in California. I, I cut my own. Oh, nice. Hey, looks good. I did not cut my own. <laughs> that would not work out that well. Uh, anyways. Um, yeah, so Connie uh, Bissessi says, I would rather look different and be better off than not be different. Um, You're in good that, company. I think that's similar that's to what we were saying. Yeah. So I appreciate that comment. Yeah, um, like I said, worst off, I look like a fool. Yeah. And, and I'm prepared for that. Um, nothing new. <laughs> nothing new. <laughs> Me specifically? Oh, no, I mean, I, I mean, for myself. <laughs> In public, yeah. 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 I'm okay with it. Right. Yeah. I got broad shoulders. I can carry it. I actually don't. A after, after all the comments from our video last week. We <laughs> oh, jeez. Have you read those comments? Go oh. back and read. Uh, what was it called? Uh, what was the name of the video? Doctors React. The, the pandemic. Yeah. Oh my god. Read goodness. those comments. And, wow. And there the other some, thing was some people I, who did not like our input. I think most people watching this would have seen my my either my tweets or my comments on the YouTube stream for messages about how so many more dislikes than likes, which is unusual for us. We're usually a high oh. 80s percent. Yeah. For likes versus must dislikes. Must have just got in a lot of feeds that people, oh my people who goodness. don't like us. <laughs> we must have spread like wildfire among the people who oh, like well. that movie. Man. Yeah. And I was just saying what our experience, how our right. experience related yeah, just to the it. doctor's side of that. We I were. wasn't addressing the rest of the movie. I was just saying, this is what we're seeing. Well, you know, you are paid off by somebody. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. We're paid off so, by, well, the CIA was what forget, one person said. I forget who's paying us off. And they wanted <laughs> to know... know. How much yeah. money we're getting for each COVID case, and well, that's not how it works. Well, yeah. It's, Anyways, uh, we, we don't need to start all that yeah, up again. Yeah. You, so you can tell I got a bit of a hang up on the the likes and dislikes. So 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 hit the hit the like button. Yeah, if you to like, help my like uh, our conversations to help his ego. Help, help my yes, help my ego. <laughs> That's, why, that, that's this, the only reason we do these, anyways. This is the Help Dr. Vaughn's Ego YouTube channel. Yep. <laughs> so hit that like button. <laughs> we need to recover. Oh, man. And if you felt positively about it, comment because, boy, those other people did. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, yeah, people feel a need to man. proselytize to and, us when, oh, because we're so led astray. I should actually read that one comment. I'm, I'm wondering where I could get it because the phone's there and I want to be able to read off that. Oh, the one that went through and I, I haven't put it up. It, it's, it's long. Oh, so I can't and this person it. actually uh, saved. Um, oh, yeah. I remember you showed me that one. Saved off of the web all of the evidence for whatever it was he was saying that was supporting what was being said on the pandemic yeah. movie. And I'd, I'd like to have it available to my, list, my viewers, but I didn't put it out there because it was well, his own who knows, server yeah. or whatever yeah, and all those that's links. That's not and, safe. But I do still have it saved somewhere, <laughs> just in case we ever decide to make it available. Um, and I did take off the profane ones and the oh, down, downright that. nasty things. Yeah, some people just, things. I mean, really? So, I, I mean, I appreciate constructive criticism. So when you read those comments, mean criticism. know that the really bad ones were we weeded out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so those are the good ones. Think about that. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see. Uh, Deborah Korn. Cornwell, I need better eyes, apparently. You need better eyes, too. <laughs> are things better now? I don't know how things are anymore. I'm in Texas, and everyone seems like it's over. Life as usual. Oh. Depends who you talk to. Yeah. Um, everybody's an expert. It feels like normal here. It does county. feel like normal. Um, I mean, really you, see, you see little it things really that are does. different, like... Uh, certain places, they they wear more masks. People uh, like there are certain businesses that have up signs. They're still doing the distancing, but and they they request it, and and I think for the most people part, people are complying. Um, but, but people are outside recreating. We see and cleaning eating stuff food. at the end, uh, when you enter places. Yeah. Um, just not movie theater and right dining room restaurants packed. Um, just not that. 
the uh, mall is going to be open uh, opening. Yeah, up. the mall in our county is open. How about that? That's pretty interesting. I, I found that interesting. We'll see. Hope it doesn't get crowded. Um, I, I, yeah, I hope that it all works out well. Yeah, I will still wear my mask at least for a little while. So uh, updates on where are we going with all this? Well, the warp speed. That's our, our president's word for it. Oh, warp, yes. Yeah, warp Operation speed vaccine warp speed. Uh, production. The goal is to have early next year to actually have a vaccine in the quantity of hundreds of millions of doses ready to give to U.S. citizens. And they want to share it with the rest of the world, too, of course. And uh, then there's concerns with the other side of things. You know, it's all it all comes down to that thing about making medical decisions with limited data. Right. There are people who say you should not be using a vaccine that hasn't been out and tested over years and years and years to see what the effects are five years after right. a person gets yeah. it. Yeah. And if we're all getting it uh, early 2021, we are not going to have that kind of data, that kind of testing. So the question right. comes up: if it's if it's out that fast, when normally it takes a lot longer to do all the trials and see what all the bad side is to it, are we going to get it? Right, and um, we, we must add. Uh, and are we going to recommend it? It is again based on our best knowledge. So um, we do have a lot of uh, um, vaccines that we, that have been approved in the past. You know, a, a a new flu shot every year, and a lot of what's being put into these vaccines is based on those previous um, what we know about those old vaccines. Uh, and I think they even had some data from some MERS and SARS uh, attempts at vaccines. You, that you make a good point. It's not well. like this so, is starting from scratch. So um, I, I want to caution people that this isn't just a, a shoot in the dark where, you know, five years down the line, we're going to find out that everybody has an arm falling off because they're, they're getting a vaccine. It's not exactly like that. So it is still a best, um, best prediction and, and based on some very good science. Um, but you know, it's still it's still a very um, accelerated vaccine, uh, which it, it will not have that. There is a degree of risk. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can't say there's not. I uh, can't yeah. in good conscience. Conscience. Um, which is the be, problem with us? We always say that. We always give the little percentage of possibility that we're wrong in yeah. everything we yeah. say. And people who are not familiar with medicine and are familiar with people who go on. TV, sometimes even doctors. Yeah, and say with certainty. And say with certainty. People love certainty. Certainty sells. I remember when I first went on the radio, my sales manager said, your audience wants certainty. They want you to absolutely yeah. make a statement and not hedge around it. And I can't do that, honestly. It kind of hurts us, I think, as far as our appeal as right. a, a broadcast yeah. um, source of information. Yeah. yeah. But, but um, our honesty won't let us. Yep. Our conscience is, yeah, yeah. So holds us back. Having said that, buy that sleep aid that I advertise at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because it will certainly help you. Oh man, rest ease or whatever it's rest called. Ease. I don't know. But but I do am buy certain. this. This will make you sleep better. That is. If you hit somebody on the head, right, just right with it. <laughs> I was just going to say it would... Oh, no, now we're promoting can, violence. There goes our was, YouTube money again. I was just saying it. I was just going to say it with certainty that it can hold coffee. Oh, okay. There you I go. am certain that it can hold coffee. It's got There's something I'm certain a about. beautiful <laughs> logo on one side. And beautiful and an people even more beautiful. on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. We're laughing. Rails. That was another thing. A lot of those comments were people who like have probably never seen our channel before. And they are going off on, oh, you guys look like little children laughing. Okay. Oh, if only. I'm sorry. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and actually, sorry, not sorry. That one, they I, hit the nail on the I enjoy having fun. And in the midst of a pandemic, I would, I somewhere you can go and actually laugh. If I couldn't laugh and have fun. So this was a good show. Good. It was a good one. It turned out pretty good. Hopefully, you guys liked it. Um, I start yeah. out grumpy. If you did like it, hit that like button. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> More likes. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we can see how many hit the like button. Oh, gee. Hit that like button. You know how many people are out there, and you can see how many have hit the like button. So, you know. <laughs> they're just, it's, is it that hard? Pick up <laughs> your finger. <laughs> gee. Uh, it's not moving. All right. Well, anyways, um, I do want to say that you should go check out the uh, Dr. Green Knight uh, channel. Yeah. Not channel, sorry, blog over at drgreenknight.com. Uh, had a nice little PSA, not 
prostate specific antigen, a public, public service. service announcement that it's okay to go see doctors. It's safe. Um, make sure. <laughs> what are you doing off screen over there? <laughs> I can't let them see. I, them I haven't touched my face this whole time. Look at that. Anyways, check out Dr. Green Knight. Um, <laughs> Thanks yeah. for drawing attention to it. Um, got, got a nice reference in there about how the stats for um, heart attacks in hospitals has gone down. Not because there have been less heart attacks. Just because we check haven't it seen out. them. Yeah, <laughs> people aren't going to the doctor for having heart attacks. Um, yeah. So that, that's an interesting one. Robert, thank you. What did Robert say? Oh, super chat. <laughs> How come it's not coming up on this? It did. You didn't see it? Oh, I was, I saw I was it. You adjusting were, my mask. You were adjusting your mask over Sorry, there. Robert. That's what you get for adjusting your mask. Thank you for your time and effort. Well, thank you. That, that $2 is coming my way. No. Probably. Yeah, he deserves it. Because <laughs> I'm not yeah. touching my mask. Yes. Anyways. So, uh, we do need to wrap it up, though, because another comment people made was, you're too long. And they're right. We, we do. We need, yeah. to, we need to do more shorter ones. Right. Okay. So for those of Divide you who have topics. hung on this long, we appreciate okay. it, and we'll uh, close it up here. I'll, so I'll figure out how to stop it here. So oh, okay, it's while you're doing really that, easy. you hit the X. Oh, that makes <laughs> sense. It's right over my <laughs> gosh. Okay. Hey, thank you, everybody, and thank yep. you. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, thank you, Boo Boo Kitty and Teresa Roa and Boo Boo Kitty patron. and Lindsay Antoine. Yeah, you get <laughs> twice. All right. Until next time, stay healthy and in good health. <laughs> <laughs>